Well, glad to have you with us on this Wednesday, noonday prayer meeting time. Uh, let me give you just a couple things to pray for. Pray earnestly for Brother Ted Woody, if you will. Brother Ted's having a, uh, really a tough time with these blood clots in his lungs, and I uh, want you to pray for him, please. Uh, remember him. And remember Jeff Turner. He also still struggling with these blood clots. Both these men have blood clots in their lungs. And then Sister Nancy Brown will be operated on this week with, for cancer. And so do remember these folk, if you will, particularly in prayer. And we have a lot of other folk that are sick, but it seems like God's really touched a lot of their bodies. They're recuperating. We're glad of that. But let's remember these things in prayer. Father, we come before you today. We come before you, first of all, <clears throat> Lord, just thanking you for your goodness and your mercy to us. Father, you love us, and we love you. Your great goodness that you have bestowed upon us is evident. Lord, you died for us on Calvary. You didn't have to. It was a sacrifice. You laid your life down for us that we might be saved. No greater love for man has ever been shown than what you did for us on Calvary, and we're grateful for it. Father, you have given to us a perfect Bible that we have in our possession, a Bible that without error guides and directs, and Lord, as only you can in, in our lives, and we thank you for our Bible. And, oh, Holy Ghost, we thank you for being our God and our comforter. Father, we thank you for our church. You have raised up here in this part of the world a body of believers of like mind and like faith that we can serve you. Lord, we can be what you would have us to be, and uh, Lord, you have met our needs, and you've allowed us to have a very small part in spreading the gospel here and around the world, and for that, we're very grateful. And so, Father, we come before you today thanking you for your goodness to our church, and thank you for how you've blessed our ministries, and we pray you'd help us to go forward even tonight. I pray for the Lighthouse Kids Club that you'll be with that ministry and use it and bring more kids into it and help them to be uh, discipled and grown to Christ. I pray you'll be with Brother Jared and our teenagers, that you'll be with him as he's uh, dealing with them, and also, Lord, Brother Colt, as they're working on, uh, Lord, the junior high kids, and we just commit them to you. And Lord, our class that goes on in the fellowship hall as we're dealing with these folk with addictions, and I pray you'll, you'll bless these things tonight for your glory and your honor, and help the Word of God to go forward, and Lord, people's lives to be changed and uplifted, and oh, God, we need you. I pray you'll be with us in the, in, the, in the auditorium here as we have a Bible study. Look at the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 6, and I pray you'll bless it and use it. To challenge our hearts to serve you. I pray you'll, uh, Lord, use it for that to, for your glory. And Lord, I pray you'll uh, be at the prayer meeting time, help us to know that we've reached heaven. And so we ask for your presence here tonight to be evident and real in our lives. And so, Father, we commit ourselves to you tonight, thanking you for your goodness to us and uh, all that you've done. Now, Father, we have many folk we want to pray for. Lord, I pray for Brother Ted Woody that you'll be with him and touch his body. Lord, I ask you to just heal him. Lord, uh, these blood clots are a very serious stage right now, and we know that. And I pray you just touch his body and lift him up and help him. Uh, Lord, be with him not only physically, but I pray you'll be with him uh, spiritually and emotionally and keep him encouraged and uplifted. Lord, I pray you'll be with uh, Brother Jeff Turner. He also is struggling with his blood clots, and I pray you'll be with him and touch his body and lift him up and help him. And Lord, we thank you for it. I pray for Sister Nancy Brown that has cancer. She'll be operating on in Georgia uh, Friday, and I pray you'll just be with her and touch Sister Nancy and lift her up and encourage her and help her. And So, Lord, we thank you for what you're going to do. So, Lord, we, we yield these things uh, afresh and anew into thy hands today, just thanking you for your goodness and your mercy. And, Lord, we yield it to you. And then, Father, we we would ask you to be with our folk. We've got a number of folk that have been sick for a while. Uh, Lord, we just want to hold them before you tonight, today. I pray, Brother Raymond Webb, you'll continue to touch his body. I pray that you'll be with Sister uh, Kay Selby and Brother Paul and just strengthen her and him as he's helping her. And Lord, I, I, I pray for a couple that I've been working with, Brother Donald and Miss Brenda Reeves, and I pray you'll be with Brother Donald and Miss Brenda. She's working with him, and we just commit them into thy hands today also. And Father, I would ask that you would, um, uh, Lord, continue to be Brother, Brother uh, Charles Wetzel and Sister June and touch their bodies and strengthen them. And Brother Larry Chambers, Miss Rita, and I pray you'd touch their bodies and lift them up. And Lord, I think of Ken and Joanne Campbell, that you'd just uplift them and encourage them. And Lord, Sister Willie Long, and lift up Sister Willie. 
Lord, Danny and Mosetta Dixon and, uh, Lord, their boys and their family, and I pray you just strengthen their bodies and both of them have some things. I pray you just strengthen them and lift them up and help them. And, Lord, we'll, uh, we commit them into thy hands. And I pray you be with Sister Rita Sherrill as she's had some surgery and having a hard time recuperating. I pray you'd be with her. And I pray for Sister Diana Maynard that you lift up Sister Diana and be with her and Brother Stanley. And, uh, Lord, just lift her up, and uh, Lord, just strengthen her, please. I pray, Brother Marvin, Miss Helen Lowe, God, you just be with them and help them with the the, uh, the home going of uh, Dean's husband and the funeral there. And I just pray for this family, you'd be with them and lift them up and strengthen them. And Lord, we'll thank you for what you're going to do, what you have done. So we yield this to you. And so, God, we, we yield these things into thy hands, thanking you for your goodness and your mercy to us and what you have done and what we believe you're going to do. And, 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 and Lord, we, we yield these folk to you. I pray, pray with my mom, Lord. I ask you to just touch her body and lift her up and help her and strengthen her. And, and uh, Lord, we, uh, we, we just yield these things to you. And then, Father, we, we do pray that you'll just uh, be with our mission trip that's upcoming uh, to the Philippines with giving out the Bibles. we got some folk going. I pray you'd, uh, Lord, help us to all that to clear. And the Bibles are now on the water, and I pray you'd give safety to those Bibles as they get into port and get where they need to go to Brother No-No's. And Lord, we just commit these things to you. Now, Father, we pray for our country. Our country uh, is in desperate need of revival. I am sure that our people are grieving a great God. And I pray you'd just give us revival and you'd help us to have it. Help us that it may start with us. And so we ask that your hand would be upon us tonight. Bless our services for the glory and honor of Christ. And maybe he be lifted up and glorified. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.